Oh, he walks with me, right? Uh -huh. I walk with him. Now, I cannot judge Jordan for his actions because why? Because I am leading him. That's right. You got it? Now, if I, if I break away from Jordan and I separate myself from him, this is called law. This Torah. This law. This Torah. Come on now. This law. Because Torah always has a teacher and a student. Connected. So Jesus called you, he called himself in Hebrew a term called rabbi, which simply was a term teacher or instructor. So why did, and what is the understanding that you're going to learn in these teachings? You're going to learn that in a Hebrew model, see in a Greek model, I stand over here and I watch Jordan from a distance. So I can judge him. Right down. Judge, say judge him. Why are Christians worried about dying and going to hell? Because they believe that God is going to judge them. But in Hebrew, it's different. In Hebrew, thank you, George, for being familiar with this. In Hebrew, when I'm connected to my student, I don't judge him. I can't. I'm leading him. I am delivering him. Yep. There's a difference between deliverance and judgment. That's right. I'm delivering him into a better world, a better form of life. He follows me. That's why in Jewish circles, in Hebraic circles, a rabbi, whenever there's a problem with a student in the Jewish community, you never go back, a rabbi or the community, never goes back to the student, Jordan, and said, why did you do that? They go to the <coughs> rabbi and said, you, one of your students, is Moshe Rabbi. He's crazy. <laughs> right? He's misbehaving. He's dishonoring us. So they turned to the rabbi, the rabbi said, oh, I forgot to instruct oh, him in a certain okay. area of their life. Yeah, that's it. So when I learned to instruct him, I can't judge Jordan. I have to say, so I as a teacher said, is there an area that I forgot to instruct yeah. Jordan? That's right. Thus, when Jesus went to Calvary, he said, my God, my God, why have to forsake me? Forgive them, Lord. For they know no difference. It was an idiom of speech, meaning I forgot to instruct them in all areas. Is God good or what? Yes. Amen. Amen. So Jesus bridges the gap, as the rabbi bridges the gap between that which is expected of us and that which we perform. Amen. So good. Is anybody getting that? Oh, yes. Amen. Amen. So now today, I can give him, you know, in essence, the football, which is the Torah, and I give it to Jordan. When I give it to Jordan, he knows how to handle it. He knows how to run with it. He knows how to handle the whole area of life. I know that at age, at, at eight days of age, the, my instruction book would said to circumcise the child. That's right. At age 30, it says to do what is called the pinyon of or the redemption of the firstborn, to redeem him. At age 13... I know it's not Jordan's responsibility, but as a father, That's right. it is my duty to instruct him That's to become right. a bar mitzvah, a son of the commandments, a son of the principles. At age 20, I realize that he can get married. So I teach him about a betrothal phase, a wedding phase, and a celebration phase. I help instruct to actually purchase or pick or the, the, the next wife for Jordan. And why would Jordan trust my leadership? Because he realized if he could follow me all the way through life until he's 20 years of age, why would he stop when it came to purchase or the, pick, the picking of a wife? Purchase in Hebrew, it doesn't mean they buy a wife. It's a bride price. It's a bride price. It's a bride price. Yeah. Thank you. To acquire one. That's right. And so now in life, he is prepared to go. And I am prepared to release him. But the reason we want to hold on to our children is because the methodology of how we taught each other is a Greek methodology. Mm. It's the very thing Hanukkah is about, two mind frames. And that's what you're going to learn in this class. Can you give God a hand? Thank you. Amen. Amen. Amen.